What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmicky ass clowns. Clowns. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. In Divine Feminine, yesterday I started trying to do a reading on a particular subject, and the reading just turned and went left. Um, I started talking about how a masculine energy pushed you away, or it could be if you're a divine masculine in here. Somebody pushed you away, watched you walk away, watched you, they pushed you away to where you left. And then they got mad because you said, fuck this shit, I'm over it, it's done, it's over. See, this was a, a, a manipulation tactic that this person would use to do they dirt and then come back for you when they wanted to. This was their way of keeping you from going down the right path. So everything that this person did, they basically did it out of spite because it's like they wanted you to accept their bullshit of them pushing you away to go with somebody else. They expected for you to sit around and wait for them to return. And many of us, we did. We did that. We waited around for this person to do right. But they never did. So when you finally said, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And you packed your shit. You walked away. You may not have to pack your shit. You may just have locked your doors and not allow this person back in your life. You may have withdrew from this person. Mm -hmm. This is somebody's karmic ex who flew out. This person, now, Divine Feminine, this could be you as the karmic ex. You could be a, not a karmic, but you could be the ex. This is an ex person. Okay, I call her a karmic because you see how she's dressed? At, at, not at all. This is someone who's after sex only. There's no love. She may have on red, but it don't represent love. It represents passion. Passion and love is two different things. And somebody, somebody's ex, this could be an ex-wife, a baby mama, ex-girlfriend. This could be your masculine's baby mama. Okay, she could have been the one who pushed your, mas your masculine away. And he walked right into your arms. Then after she pushed him away and he walked in your arms, she did some sort of spell work. Now, she, she did the spell work, but you, look, a broken heart. Mm -hmm. this, is, this, this is somebody's ex. She pushed away this masculine. And she started doing spell work. Because this masculine didn't come back to her manipulation tactics. Now, a divine feminine out there, you could have been the one who opened your masculine's eyes. You could have helped him awaken to the manipulation. And this, this, this is a, a queen of wands energy. Okay? And she's broken hearted. She's not going down the right pathway she's supposed to be going. She wanted a masculine energy to go down the wrong pathway with her. Okay? She don't want to heal. She's not healed. She's broken hearted. She needs a green adventure. Okay. And she needs an amethyst to realize that she's she tried to manipulate this masculine, but she ended up manipulating herself. Okay. So tell me what's the energy going on around this uh, this karmic energy. Show me what's going on with this karmic energy. It's showing that she's broken hearted. Now, in the beginning, that when I started this reading. I felt like it was a masculine, but see, now I now I understand and know this masculine walked away from you because somebody walked away from him. He walked towards you because somebody walked away from him. Then when this energy comes back, then he walks away from you. Now, him and her then got together and they're doing spell work. Okay, see... And if they've been doing the spell work, your prayers are being heard. They can't touch you. And I forgot, it's a full moon. Okay? 
So make sure you tie your head up at night and protect yourself because these bitches is out here throwing magic. Okay, this is some serious shit. Magical creatures. You, all of these creatures, they say don't exist. They, they do. You just can't see them because you're not in the spiritual realm. I've seen them before. Okay, I've seen them in dreams. I've seen them in pareidolia images. They do exist. And here's somebody out here thinking. And here's a uh, main female in reverse. So this, this karmic energy, she's broken hearted. And she's, she's hoping and praying that this masculine makes her his main female. But if she been throwing spell work, God ain't listening to her prayers. He throwing that shit right out of heaven's windows. He don't want to hear that. That shit is dropping through the clouds and falling back to earth. He don't want to hear it. He don't. So tell me more about this broken heart. Why is this broken heart here? Tell me about the broken heart for this karmic. Why is her heart broken? Why is this karmic's heart broken? She's broken hearted. It's the courthouse papers. She's broken hearted because this masculine is trying to come back to you or he left you. It was no, okay, for some of you, this is your masculine, your karmic masculine's ex-karmic. And she did him dirty and he's he come to you, you did him right and she come back out of spite. She hates this masculine so much to where she don't want him, but she just want his life to be a living hell. This is a fucking bitch. Okay. And she don't want him. And, and this could mean that she's not signing some divorce papers. This masculine be, could be trying to divorce her and she don't want to sign some papers. Why don't this karmic want to sign these papers? Why doesn't the karmic energy want to sign these papers? Why doesn't this karmic want to sign these papers? She's just unapologetic. And she's sick. It, it, it makes this karmic sick if she have to apologize to somebody. Damn. She don't apologize for shit. And it's making her sick that she's not this masculine's main chick. I don't want to be the main chick. I want to be the only one. Fuck that. Uh, you the you the masculine and 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 I'm I'm a side chick. Fuck that side chick. Hold on. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that I had something hanging on my nose. It is cold in this room, and it was raining last night. So y'all excuse me for that. Um. Okay. Yeah. So this. This karmic, she's sick because she's not this masculine's main female. She's praying and hoping and wishing and trying to manifest some shit. Some of you, this karmic can be in the hospital. She could be a male or a female. You take it where it resonates. It don't have to be a he. It could be a karmic masculine. It could be a karmic feminine. But whoever this karmic is, they're broken hearted. Okay, and they're refusing to, to sign some court papers. They're doing it on purpose. They're unapologetic. And they don't realize this is why some of them is either in the hospital, they're mentally sick, physically sick, literally sick, emotionally sick, because they're not the main female. What is the apology in reverse for? What is the apology in reverse? Some flowers. A choice. And a message. Somebody, somebody could be, this masculine could have had tried to apologize to this karmic. Um, and he's going to receive blessings from the universe just because he apologized to her. 
Um, she didn't accept his apology. She's been in major beast mode. Okay. This masculine has, has made a choice and he chose to divorce this karmic and she's holding the paperwork. She's delaying it. But see, even though this masculine is trying to get away from her, the universe is right here. Okay, this masculine could have been in a giving energy with this karmic. This, this child fell out in an unwise decision. See, now this is an unwise decision when it comes to a child. Now, it could be the unwise decision. This karmic could have had a baby by this masculine. Um... And thought by her keeping the baby away from him was going to hurt him. But some of these masculines don't care about the baby. So I'm sorry to say it. Some of these women is out here getting pregnant by men thinking that's going to keep them. And that ain't working. All they doing is being stuck with a child that they didn't want from the beginning. And they thinking, you know, by them getting pregnant by a certain particular masculine. That this masculine going to fall in love. They going to love the baby. Them having a baby. Baby, that, that, that shit is old. It's too many demons running around here that has these. It's only a few masculines around here that actually love their kids and show, kid, show love to their children. But see, this is for karma for these karmics because they're out here doing this shit on purpose just to have stability, just to have some fake ass love. You're going to get pregnant by somebody that don't want a kid with you, that don't want to be with you, so you're going to trap them because they just that fine. You just got to have them. All that's going to do, if you're looking beautiful right now, you had that baby by that masculine, you're going to be running around looking broke down and toe up. That child going to be looking fucked up, not dressed, having Mitch Mac socks on and shit, hair not combed. Because you, you don't want the child. So don't even set yourself up. Let his motherfucking ass go, karmic. I'm speaking of to, who, to the ex-baby mamas, the ex-girlfriends who's trying to have, why the fuck you want to keep getting pregnant by a motherfucker who ain't taking care of his kids? Just to prove to another bitch he gonna always be mine? All you're doing is attaching yourself to some demonic shit. Let that shit go. Start your new life. Hell, there's other men out there that'll help raise somebody, somebody else's child. There's some good ones out there. It may be a man out there who can't have children. And want children. And some of these dumb bras is out here running trying to get babies with men who don't want babies. Baby traps and all of that shit. Cut that shit out, Carmix. Stop it. You're not doing nothing but making your life a miserable hell. Then you're going to end up in jail because you're going to end up whipping a child that you don't want. So don't even take yourself through that shit. You're just anchoring yourself down. Okay? Don't allow that. I'm going to stop right there. If you didn't like it, I'm sorry. I tell the truth because the truth tells me. And if it's coming to me, I have to tell these karmic energies to stop doing some of the negative shit they're doing to save their own self. I'm going to tell you. Peace out.